The parietal lobe, part of the cerebral cortex, is located anterior or forward of the occipital lobe and dorsal or above the temporal lobe on the outer part of the human brain. The parietal lobe is where two types of information are processed, information about touch and information about spatial perception. The experience of touch is registered in the parietal lobe. Touching different parts of the body creates electrical activity in different parts of the parietal lobe. For example, if one touches the arm, it produces electrical activity on one part of the parietal lobe, and if one touches the leg, it produces electrical activity on a different part of the parietal lobe. In fact, it turns out that one can create a brain map that corresponds to a map of the human body, and this is known as the homunculus. So the entire human body is mapped out in a sense of touch to the parietal lobe. And if you were to electrically stimulate a part of the parietal lobe, a part of this homunculus, a person will feel like they are being touched on a part of their body. This map of touch is dynamic, changing based on experience. So individuals who use their hands a lot, say surgeons or professional musicians like violinists, have a larger portion of their homunculus or brain map of touch devoted to their hands than other people enabling their hands to be more sensitive to touch. And our sense of touch is crucial to our ability to move. Think about what happens when your foot falls asleep and you try to walk, or your mouth is numb because of Novocaine and you try to talk. The second major function of the parietal lobe relates to our ability to process spatial location, or where things are located. And this includes three major categories where our body parts are located, where objects in the environment are located, and where large features of the environment, such as your house, is located. In order to walk properly, or to grab, or reach, or any other type of movement-related task, it is crucial to know where different parts of the body are located. The parietal lobe tracks body parts. The parietal lobe also tracks locations of objects. For example, how far away is that animal? Or, where did I put my keys? Or park my car? The parietal lobe is in charge of tracking all of these locations. Of course, not always accurately if you forget where you put your keys or where you parked your car. Last, the parietal lobe creates a cognitive map of the large-scale environment and tracks the location, the distance and direction of major important features of the environment. For example, where is my classroom on campus? Or how do I get to my home? So to summarize, the parietal lobe is the part of the brain that is most important for detecting touch and also for determining where things are.